In 1972, a group of researchers at MIT calculated potential future scenarios of human society based on the trajectory of capitalism and industrial civilizations. They compiled their findings and published them in the book The Limits to Growth, which ended up becoming a bestseller. The main argument was that our society would collapse by the 2040s due to lack of natural resources. Recently, scientists reassessed these calculations and found that they still held true. A global collapse is still on track to happen within the next two decades. The leading cause of this collapse is the destruction and exploitation of natural resources by corporations and governments. The scientists explain that as long as these powers strive for constant economic growth, we won't be able to deter a collapse of our industrial civilization. They determine this outcome using a supercomputer to calculate 12 possible results for the future. Most of these scenarios all lead to the same ending, global collapse. They predicted that natural resources would dwindle so much that it would negatively impact economic growth, and individual welfare would dramatically worsen. In their findings, the business as usual, or BAU scenario takes center stage as the most famous and ominous potential future. This scenario predicted that our economic growth would reach its peak in the 2040s, before sharply declining. As economic growth plummets, so does the Earth's population, natural resources and even food availability. The current rate of capitalistic ventures is not sustainable, so even if they continue to operate business as usual, it will cause living standards to fall. Their research is not suggesting a doomsday event, but rather a turning point for society. The scientists explain that the human race would continue, but our way of life and comforts would change as resources were bled dry by corporations. This argument is still being promoted as the leading concern for climate change protests, even half a century after the first release findings. In 2020, sustainability and dynamic system analysis researcher Guy Harrington decided to find out just how accurate these predictions still were, and whether or not our society is still on track for a global collapse. Harrington utilized and expanded on research she had already begun pursuing at Harvard University, together with our current real-world data. She published her study in current predictions in the November 2020 issue of the Journal of Industrial Ecology. In the publication, she explained that her findings were nearly identical to those determined by the MIT researchers in 1972. Harrington measured 10 different variables in our society, some of which included population, population levels, fertility rates, industrial output and food production to determine collapse rates. She found that the BAU scenario was the most plausible, showing a stop in economic growth and a sudden drop in living conditions. Another 1972 scenario, Comprehensive Technology or CT, was also indicated as a potential outcome in the publication. In this scenario, our technological achievements and advancements help reduce population levels and protect food production even with our natural resources depleting. Although the burden of global collapse is lessened in this instance, capitalism still reduces natural resources until economic growth stops. Once economic growth is halted, our industrial society essentially collapses. There is still an opportunity to achieve this stabilized world scenario, wherein humans actively limit economic growth before natural resources decline. While the population, pollution, and natural resources will still worsen in this scenario, we can rectify it before it's too late. With technological advancements, a change in policies and societal values can balance out the variables in our society and change our course before human welfare declines. To carry on from this, NASA scientists warns the Earth is due for an extinction level event. In 2016, one of NASA's award-winning scientists explained the possibility of an extinction-level event. 
going into detail at the annual American Geophysical Union meeting. He suggested to the attendees that policymakers should begin preparations because a comet or asteroid strike is inevitable, and there's not anything we could do to prevent such a cataclysmic destruction. Joseph Nuth has worked at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center for nearly 40 years, and has won many awards for his work in astrobiology. He has also been an active prominent for doomsday preparations. Although he acknowledged the slim odds of an extinction level strike, he argued that it's a random possibility. Since these types of dinosaur killer events are essentially 50 million years apart, Earth is due for another, and it's just a matter of when. Joseph's main point of his warning was not to instill fear in the masses, but to push society to begin preparations and actively pursue space research and advancements. He argued that we're nowhere close to being prepared for such a dangerous threat, and called on NASA to lead the charge to improve our chances. He suggested that NASA invest in building out two types of spacecrafts, one that observes and a rocket that intercepts. If there does come a time when a giant comet or asteroid comes barreling towards Earth, a rocket carrying a nuclear bomb could block and protect the planet. The most important aspect of preparations Nuff explained was reducing reaction time. We need to act swiftly, especially if the rock travels from locations challenging to observe, such as from the sun. Interestingly though, this theory was recently tested by NASA, and they said that most of the outcomes and explosive did not do anything to the asteroid, saying that this simulation showed that the asteroid would stay on its course and would still make contact with Earth. However, NASA currently operates on a five-year project span, where it takes them years from the start of mission approval to the final launching. They would need Congress support for such a large project, which would be difficult to obtain since it requires such a large budget. Joseph estimates that this request would quickly run up several hundred million dollars, and this would be just to build one of the spacecrafts. For those who are doubtful, Joseph reminded them of a close call event in 2014, where a comet passed very close to Mars. Scientists only found the comet a mere 22 months before it nearly collided with the planet, not enough time to prepare for a reliable protection plan if it had passed any closer. It really puts it into perspective about how insignificant we are in terms of the universe. It would only take a medium to large asteroid to wipe out the majority of life on Earth. So what do you make of these recent announcements? And do you think that society will collapse by 2040? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.